So today I'm going to walk you through how to subscribe yourself to a ticket, how to subscribe other agents to a ticket, and what subscribing to your tickets mean. So what subscribing to your tickets mean, essentially if you would like to be kept up to date, regardless of if you're assigned that ticket or not, you can actually subscribe yourself or others to that ticket. If you want to keep yourself or others in the loop, what happens is anytime an agent or a customer actually adds an update, you get an email um, notification in your inbox letting you know, hey, this person has applied some sort of update for you. So it's a very, very nice tool for collaborating and being kept up to date on certain items. Now, if I want to go ahead and let's say subscribe myself to the ticket, you will see the star icon located on this card. I can go ahead and select that star and you'll see that it highlights it in yellow for me and from this point forward I am now subscribed to this ticket. Now if I would like to subscribe others I'm going to go ahead and open up that ticket by clicking on the subject there and you're going to actually see to the right of where it says updates this little plus button and a few little avatars here this actually lets me know that there are currently three people subscribed. If I would like to include some others I can go ahead and select that plus button and add whatever subscribers I would like to include so from that, this point forward, any type of update, they'll actually receive a notification in their inbox. So let's go ahead and add Leo in this case, add him, and you'll see now he's been added as a subscriber. Now from this point forward, Leo will be kept up to date.